Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video I'm so excited to do is going to be a new will I buy it. This is my series I post every single Wednesday where I talk over all the new makeup releases. I talk about what has my interest, what I'm not so interested in buying. I always link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist that I started. If you're new here, welcome. I would love if you would subscribe. I love to chat about makeup, try makeup, and just talk about all things beauty. If you are subscribed, maybe just double check you are. I've had a lot of people telling me that you are getting unsubscribed from my YouTube channel and YouTube's been having a lot of technical issues the day that I'm filming this actually. But maybe just double check and let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I do start off with my outfit of the day and today, Today has been a day. Not only did I think my YouTube channel had been like hacked and was deleted and then I just had to go on Twitter and realize like YouTube is just down for everybody. Um, you know, it's just been a day. So I'm in my sweatpants, my slippers, and I just have on my much love uh, cropped sweatshirt. This is a part of my merch line. So I do always have my merch store linked down below, but it's quite cooler in Las Vegas. It was 91 degrees over the weekend and the last two days we've had really bad uh, wind storms. Like I got a, a dust storm warning advisory going off on my phone yesterday. And I was like, I've never seen something like this before. It has been so windy. The visibility on the roads was like not happening because of all the dust. Being from Iowa, I was not, uh, I've never seen an alert like that before, but it only got up to like 55 degrees today, which to go from 91 to 55 is quite a swing. So I put on my sweatshirt, but I just finished filming this look. This is going to be tomorrow's video here on YouTube and it went from like bad to worse and it took me so long to film because things were going wrong and things became broken and to it, that's gonna be a beast to edit. Um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to put that video together and try to make it make sense, but this will be coming tomorrow. And I, in that video, I'm trying a bunch of the products that I picked up during the Sephora sale. So I do have a vlog shopping of the Sephora spring sale if you wanna check that out and see what products are gonna be available. Or I do always link all of the makeup I'm wearing in my description box, plus all of the products that I'm talking about in case there's anything you're interested in. So you can always check below. And again, this is gonna be tomorrow's video, which is also an exciting video because I'm announcing the latest product launch for my brand, which is by Samantha March. And I just, I, I didn't expect that video to take so many turns. So uh, stay tuned. That will, that will be going up tomorrow. I was also going to do my hair. Like as I was doing that video, I was also going to curl my hair and I didn't get time to do that since it took so many different directions. It is what it is. We just, we're just gonna have to roll with it. But to jump in, uh, if I have received anything in PR that I would talk about this week, I will show it first. And the product that I have to show this week is actually a really exciting one because I have the new Sigma Beauty new mod collection. So if you didn't see, I also have a vlog up on YouTube. I was actually invited out to Minneapolis, Minnesota to the launch party for this collection with Sigma Beauty. It was so exciting. I was <laughs> absolutely thrilled to be able to go out and meet the Sigma team and see the headquarters and then attend the launch party. And some of my friends came out as well and Yelika Nikvist. Kelly Gooch, I got to meet Angela Bright for the first time. I'm wearing some of her lashes, the Bright Lashes, uh, which I was so excited about. We just had the best time, so I have a vlog up of that trip. But we did, while we were there, we did get the new mod collection. So this actually ended up launching early on the Sigma website, but it is available now. You guys might know I am an affiliate with Sigma. My code is Samantha and their eyeshadow palettes are some of my favorites. I rave about them. I have for such a long time. I actually have a video ranking all of my Sigma eyeshadow palettes here on YouTube. I actually did it in collaboration with Kelly Gooch, which is so funny. And we didn't know at the time that we were, we talked about this at the beginning of the year. We had no idea we were going to be at a launch party with Sigma together. I was like, how funny is that? But this new palette from Sigma is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna be having a video where I uh, play with the full collection while also answering questions about brand trips, working with brands, things like that. I wanna make a video and really kind of break down my experiences and be really transparent about them. So if you have questions, you can always leave them here or I will be putting up on my YouTube community tab uh, questions that you might have that I can answer in that video and I'm happy to answer them. So I thought that would be the perfect one to be able to do some more looks with this, but I used this palette on the trip to Minnesota. Again, you can watch the full vlog and it's beautiful. I love the Sigma quality. It does come with a double-ended brush, which I have used and who knows where I put it, but I love the outer packaging, this like soft velvet, the color. I mean, it's just so me. I'm not wearing it today. I am wearing the new Patrick Ta palette since I did haul that in my um, Sephora haul for the sale. 
but they also came out oh here the brush is in here look at that it does have the double-ended brush with the palette which i just think adds so much value because these are the actual sigma brushes they don't you know downplay the quality to put in the palettes and i love that they come with those and then the collection also does have five brushes and the like the colors in here, I'm just all about this. The pink and the gold sparkles, so you have face and eye shades. And then also in the collection was two different lip products, a liquid lip and new mod, which this uh, this came out a while ago, and then it was such a bestseller for Sigma, they decided to create this whole new mod collection based around this liquid lipstick, how well it was received and how so many people loved it. And then they also came out with the gloss, which is in Passionate. So you can purchase um, the products together as the collection. You can purchase just the palette separately, brushes, lip products, whatever it is that you would like. I also really love the makeup bag that came with this one also. I think it's so stunning. So that is the newest collection from Sigma Beauty. I think that it's absolutely beautiful. This one, I saw a few comments when I posted it on Instagram of people saying like, if you were to collab with Sigma, we like this is the palette we had in mind for you. And I was like, yes, because it's beautiful. So stay tuned. I'll have some more looks coming with the Sigma palette, but it's the fabulous quality that I love. Uh, and just being able to meet the brand and have that experience and really, I, I, I don't want to say too much because I do have the full vlog about it and I really speak very uh, at length about how I, how, how I felt about being invited and also really feeling heard and seen by the brand and asking for you know our input and, and different things like that. It was really a special experience and I'm really glad that I was able to do it. And yeah, the new mod collection is available now. I will have it linked down below. And again, affiliate code is Samantha. All right, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit so I can add in some photos. I love that in my screenshot folder, I have a random Starbucks coffee. <laughs> We don't need to talk about that. I always link the accounts that I'm reading from it down below. So I'm going to start with Trend Mood 1. And I got some tags on these new releases from Dior. These are available now. So we have these limited edition five color couture eyeshadow palettes. Five shadows embossed with the, with the Dior stripe. These are $65. There's also the Dior Addict Refillable Couture Lipstick Case. And this is $28. And there's two different ones. The Indigo Denim. That is, I just see denim all over the place right now. There's very on trend. I feel like the one that has a little bit more of the mauve tones, I feel like I remember talking about this a while ago, so maybe they're just available now. And I said that it was pretty and I was interested in it, but $65 is a lot of money, especially just for the five shades. I necessarily love the little like sponge foam brush jigabobs that are in there. Um, to me, that doesn't really, you know, obviously Dior has the higher price tag and to me that doesn't really it kind of speaks to like old school makeup, but if you're going to be paying the $65 for the small palette, like I would rather pay $65 for a Natasha Denona mini palette. I just got the pastel palette. I really enjoyed that one. So even though it's, it's pretty and I like it, I'm on palette overload right now. <laughs> palette overload right now. I don't, I can't, I, I can't seem to be stopped at this moment. And um, things are looking a little, a little dangerous for me when it comes to my wallet and when it comes two eyeshadow palettes right now. Uh, I just did a TikTok the other day where the sound was a girl saying, I'm single probably for a while. And then the, the other person says, maybe take a break from billionaires. And she goes, no, no, never. And I did that, but my text was, I'm on a makeup blow by, which I'm, which I'm not, but I'm on a makeup blow by. And then during the maybe take a break, I put maybe take a break from eyeshadow palettes. And I said, no, no never because I don't know what happened I was doing really well at not buying a lot of eyeshadow palettes but it seems like the mauves are very in trend right now there's you know dose of colors have some new palettes that came out the pastel palette like I mentioned from Natasha it's just I don't need to talk myself into a $65 little Dior palette even though I love Dior the powder you will see how the Dior powder no powder saved this situation happening in tomorrow's video like just wait just wait for it but let's keep talking about expensive things because like why not so we have from tom ford this is available now at nordstrom this is the tom ford summer soleil so we have a shimmering body oil we have a shimmering body oil for a hundred dollars y'all okay let's just keep going we have a lip blush that's back for $58, a moisturizing lipstick balm. Okay. Then we have the Soleil Sheer Highlighting Duo for $84. 
let's go back to this shimmering body oil for a hundred dollars like i've bought the shimmering body oils but don't get me wrong i've done it but if you take like your body moisturizer and you put some highlight in it there you go you don't have to throw a hundred dollar bill at it i i just i'm like ah i mean if you want to do it because it's a lightweight silky scented oil to add a gleam to the skin with delicate flex of golden toned leaf if that's what you want honey you can spend your money however you want to spend it i will not judge you i support you but i also think you could just mix your your moisturizer with your highlighter I just also bought like five eyeshadow palettes in four days so like honestly when i say i'm not judging you i'm not judging you i'm just trying to help and then the lip blush you know it's 58 dollars. i kind of wanted to cry a little that i bought this 37 dollar lip balm with 20 percent off at the sephora sale turns out i i actually love it it's from Givenchy, the marble lip balm apparently everyone else does because like all the shades sold out during the sale but still it was like 37 dollars. it was that whole like take my card don't take my card take my card don't take my card like you know it's like I'm not really sure what to do about that. And then the highlighting duo for $84, highlighting duo for cheeks, eyes, and face. It's all gonna be a no for me. The Tom Ford prices are just a lot. I also say this, you know, full transparency. I bought a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses on my Minnesota trip with Sigma Beauty. You know, it's gonna be my thing to, to remember the trip by was my Tom Ford sunglasses. In my defense, I was trying to buy sunglasses. I actually had picked out a pair of Chanel sunglasses that I really, really wanted and I'd been saving up for them. But I actually ended up liking the Tom Ford more and they were nearly $100 cheaper and I was freaking thrilled about that. So I bought the Tom Ford Sunnies, but I'm not gonna buy the $100 shimmering oil. We all have the different things we wanna spend our, our money on. I almost said our makeup on. That too. Let's move over to maybe some not so expensive stuff right now. Looks like ColourPop has released not one, but two new collections for us. How kind of them. So we have for Easter, we have Peeps and ColourPop. Yes, I am familiar with Peeps. Thank you so much. But I feel like this is going to be a really unpopular opinion. I don't really care about Peeps. I don't know if I, if that's not, if you thought like I was going to say I love peeps, but like I feel like I hear so many people that absolutely hate peeps. And then I feel like I hear the people defending peeps. Like they're not necessarily saying they love them, but they're like defending them. I honestly don't really care. Like I don't want to go buy peeps. If one was in front of me, would I eat it? Like I have a sugar addiction. So like probably like just being honest with you, like I'd probably eat it, but I don't like seek them out. We have this collection with ColourPop. So we have seven, seven Super Shock shadows with an ultra glitter finish, which is $8 each or $48 for the bundle. There's also a glowing lip, which has a sweet warm scent, $8 each or $22 for the bundle. There's three different shades there, or the full collection is $75. This is cute. You know, it's a, it's a smaller collection than ColourPop usually does. We just have the Super Shocks and the lip products. It's kind of nice not to see like a really huge collection. I like the Super Shock shadows. The glowing lips got them and I wanted to try them and then I just didn't get the time to do it, but I still would like to try them. So I do typically get PR from ColourPop. There's been a few packages that I haven't gotten, so I don't know, we'll have to see if I do get this one. If so, I could see myself grabbing like a Super Shock or two and a glowing lip for myself. Um, you know, it's cute, but if I didn't get PR, is this something I'd be running to buy? Not necessarily, no, it doesn't like strike my fancy all that much. But then they also came out with the Let's Roll Roller Skates collection. Fun fact about me, I love roller skating. I was a roller skating queen back in my younger days. In middle school and high school, like that was the thing that you did is you went to the roller rink and you would roller skate and I can backward skate and I can shuffle skate and I can dance while I skate. I love skating. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's actually like cute. So we have a 10 pan eyeshadow palette for 16. There's Super Shock blushes, Super Shock duos. There's the plumping glosses. There's some face crystals. From Soul Body, we have their dry shimmering oil in a mini, which is only $10. Those things last forever as well. Like if you're paying, again, I'm not judging. Keep going. There's also a few sets or the full collection is 110 and it's gonna be available on April 14th. So I'll say like the theme got to me just because it's something that I think is like kind of fun. It also reminds me of my friend Linda or Glitter Fallout because she has taken to loving roller skating and I get so excited whenever I see her stories and I'm so jealous of how much she roller skates. Like. If she ever comes out here to Vegas to visit me, we are definitely finding a roller skating rink. It's what I wanted to do for my birthday. It was the first thing I mentioned doing. And then we ended up going to Napa Valley, which 
that was also quite enjoyable but if we didn't go to napa we were going to go roller skating but i don't really love it i don't it kind of reminds me of like candyland their candyland collection i don't know i i'm not i get it i get the vibe i get where we're going and roller skating is kind of like you know 80s and everything but I don't know and it looks a little bit more on the pastel side which makes sense like spring and everything but I just bought the Natasha Denona pastel palette I just don't feel like there's anything from here that I have to have and I'm honestly a little bit bummed about it all right Lunar Beauty has some new launches coming out these I believe are already out yes so we have the nude prism collection from Lunar Beauty the eyeshadow palette is 48 there's a blush palette for 35 there's three different lip oils and these are $18 each or the bundle will be 110 I'm not a huge fan of the blush palette. Um, I've said this, but I just, I'm not really buying these types of products. So that one would be one that I, I just wouldn't really get a lot of use out of. The eyeshadow palette is pretty large and me looking at it, I'm like, okay. We've decided in my last few videos where I've talked about my makeup styles and makeup preferences is that I do like color. Like I'm, I'm done saying that I don't like color and I'm done saying I'm only a neutral girl. And I asked people what you thought I should call my makeup style. A lot of people really honed in on monochromatic. Like I like to play with color, but when I do, I play with that one color. I make an all blue look, an all pink look, an all purple look, and that is what I do quite frequent, like very frequently. And I thought that was really interesting to read. A lot of people said soft color, um, that sort of thing. I'm not very bold with my makeup looks, and especially with like liner and and just mixing different colors. But I like color, so even though you know a, a brown smoky eye suits me well also looking at a palette like this i just don't feel like an urge like i just don't feel like a calling like that you know out of the whole collection what interest what would interest me the most would be the lip oils but i have bought so many lip products um when i was doing my trying new makeup do i have for tomorrow's video like i have two lip products that i bought during the sephora sale the givenchy the makeup by mario i ended up going with the makeup by mario like i've been purchasing a lot of lip products recently as well lip products and eyeshadow palettes seem to be my thing right now so i probably don't need anything from the collection there but is a launch from a indie brand that is coming out shortly this is from a cleona cosmetics i hope i'm saying that correctly and this is the new dragon fruit collection so we have the dragon fruit eyeshadow palette which is going to be uh, 5940 USD, 13 shades with six different formulas. There's multi chromes, sparkle shadows, dual chromes, metallics, velvet satins. There's also nail polishes. There are highlighters, which are 1760 USD, a cosmetic bag, a brush set. Will be available April 27th on the website. I actually got an email from uh, Cleona asking if I would like to receive this in PR. I hadn't seen it yet, but they explained a little bit of the collection and I said yes to it. I want to say that I've tried Cleona Cosmetics, but I think I might be mixing that up with Davina Cosmetics. So I, oh, I don't, I'm going to have to like go back and search through my videos. But again, I think I'm thinking of Davina. And what's really funny is Angelica way back in the day actually sent me some eyeshadows from Davina Cosmetics because she loved them so much. And she wanted me to try, like, she sent them to me like as a friend. She was like, here, try these eyeshadows. I was like, what? So that's what I think I'm thinking of. But I know that Angie really likes Cleona as well. And the eyeshadow palette, it is a little bit more on that colorful side. But not necessarily like to me, when I look at it, I don't, my mind doesn't immediately jump to a rainbow palette. I typically tend to stay away from a rainbow palette. And again, when I get into color palettes, a lot of times they are those monochromatic palettes. I think that's why I like ColourPop palettes so much is because a lot of times they do come out with those monochromatic ones or that lean towards a certain color story. But some of these shades in here do look quite stunning. It looks like we have like some of those highlighters in there. Um, the nail polishes I'm not as interested in because I do get my nails done. But like I said, I, I said yes to the PR and I'm excited to try this out. Um, let me know if you'd like to see a full video on the collection um, or if you would just like to see it in like a trying new makeup or something like that or just see my reviews. But I'm curious. I don't know, like now that I see it, all on its own with the palette being $60 I just being honest I don't know if this is something I would necessarily rush out to buy especially because I've been buying so many eyeshadow palettes recently but I think it'll be nice to try the formula and I can give you my thoughts on it as you know someone who's not a makeup artist and someone who just kind of likes to play with makeup and if you're similar to that style of me where 
you just kind of want to know what works and what's easy to use and what's hard but actually like worth it to like you know try to make work i don't know I i'm i'm curious to try that one out makeup revolution i pretty much mentioned every single week same as ColourPop. and makeup revolution seems to be doing a lot of collections and collaborations recently now they are coming out with one with the simpsons and this is the summer of love collection i am aware of the simpsons actually um so there we go i was never a big simpsons watcher my ex-husband really enjoyed like the first gift i ever bought mitch was the simpsons movie i think it was like christmas time or something like that um if he would watch them all the time there'd be i remember there's like a few times where he's like you need to watch this episode and i was like okay uh, but i never really got into it but i do know there's homer and and margaret I'm like watch me mess this up there's homer there's margaret there's bart lisa and the baby is maggie pretty confident i'm saying that correctly but i was also pretty confident about lucas skywalker and i was confident that avatar was the movie with the blue people so could be saying that incorrectly but we have brush sets we have some different shadow palettes highlighters blushes bronzers lip products the full collection is 111.20 it's coming soon it will also be available at ulta beauty i honestly i feel like i could see this selling well because so many people really do have that love for the simpsons and they're are they like the longest running show like ever it really calls out to me the palettes are larger you know the single products i'm just kind of like so so on i'm not a huge fan of makeup revolution but i feel like i could see that collection doing well curious your thoughts on it this i thought was interesting we have some products coming out from stila and it said just in time for festival season i just heard last night my friend said oh coachella is coming up and i was like i've never been a big festival person myself i've never been to coachella or anything like that a big festival person didn't even realize that time was upon us but here we go and stila has new releases which doesn't happen very often so we have uh, 10 new stay all day dual ended liquid eyeliners for $30 four new shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadows for 24 so not not really like not new products but new shades and existing products I you know I'm kind of curious about Stila and and how they're doing you know since 2020 we've seen multiple brands closing down or being bought out or different things like that and I just kind of wonder about Stila. It would be nice to see like some newer products from them, but I think that these are some of their best sellers. So I guess it probably makes sense to expand the shade range. Nothing that really jumps out to me. Like I used to love the glitter shadows and wear them quite frequently. I had probably like eight or nine in my collection at one point, but I've just kind of moved on uh, from them. From They're not no, Wayne Goss and Goss makeup. It looks like we have a complexion collection coming. We have the luxury cream foundation. 12 shades of full coverage and natural satin finish. There's also the weightless powder, which has a double side puff applicator. This is going to be available April 19th on Beautylish. All right. I don't know if I would be a huge, huge fan of the cream foundation. I'm thinking, was it, it was Kevin Aqua had something, some of the, like the foundation balm. I didn't mind it. It wasn't an absolute favorite. I just don't know if it would totally be for me um packaging doesn't really blow me away by any means the shade range looks it's only 12 shades it looks more balanced than just leaning one way or the other but i still feel like there's probably some shades that could be included in there especially if this is supposed to be full coverage versus something more of like a skin tint or a light coverage foundation the powder i don't know i hmm, this one just didn't really call to me a lot um, you know, the, the powder puff in there, I feel like those are kind of making a comeback at the moment, but it just didn't speak to me. Clarins, I thought this was interesting. This is available now in Europe. These are the Milky Boost Capsules. Instantly hydrated and nourished skin, brighter, firmer, hydrated. Each capsule contains the right amount of foundation to cover the entire face and neck. Okay. So there's only six shades. We'll confirm the launch in other countries, says Trend Mood 1. Then she said, is this the first makeup capsules? So I've seen these for like skincare, um, like vi vi or is it vitamin C or like retinol, like the retin and you, and you break it open. I don't think I've ever seen it as a makeup product. If you have, you know, definitely let us know. I'm, I like seeing new things because you know there's like it's it's make it like there's only so many things we can do and all of that so i like seeing new things um to see it from clarins i was like okay a little bit surprising to see clarins pop up on my on my feed but here we are it's like one of those where i'm kind of interested to try it 
but also it's like how do you know it's the right amount of foundation i, I just feel like i have so many questions but like would i try it I probably would. See some new lip products that are coming from Kimchi Chic Beauty. These are new lipsticks, the Sweet Candy Kisses. These are gonna be $12 each. There is quite an array of shades from pink, yellow, purple. There's a white, a black, orange, green. Um, nothing that I think that I would particularly wear. Well, I do like wearing color on my eyes. I'm not really big into like colorful lips. I typically do like nude pink brown. That's kind of what I enjoy right now. So I don't think these would really be for me, but it makes sense for spring. They're super cute for, for Easter and all of that. Speaking of lip products, I see MAC Cosmetics is coming out with their Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. <laughs> okay, in 12 shades coming soon. Hmm, okay, I honestly, when I first saw these, I wanted to say I thought of Hourglass. I feel like Hourglass has a lip product similar to this. But the Powder Kiss lipsticks, I didn't necessarily lose my mind over those. When I tried them a few years back, they came out in the bullet form. I didn't absolutely love them, so would I love them in the Slim Stick? I don't know. So many people also lost their minds over the MAC Stack Mascara, and it's so funny because I was talking to Angie about it when we were at the mall. I think it was when we were in Minnesota and we packed past a Mac store and she was like, you tried the Mac sack, right? Did you like it? And I was like, no. And I, I like, I don't see the hype about it. I was like the other day it rolled off my desk and landed on the floor. And I just went hmm. for all the trouble that I went through with that mascara. I was like super mad that I didn't like it more, but it transferred so bad. It was all over my face and it was clumpy. I don't, I'm not really feeling it. So I don't know. I feel like that kind of helped put Mac like, I mean, I don't think Mac's not going anywhere. It's one of those brands that has like such a backbone, such a staple. It's available in so many countries. Like I, sometimes, yeah, sometimes we can be a little bit, you know, just focused here. Like we're the beauty community online, and you know, a lot of us are U.S. based. Like on my channel, at least, like it's like 92% is U.S. based. So sometimes we only have this vision and focus, but. Mac is a huge brand, like they're not going anywhere, they're doing fine, but I feel like it got some buzz around these parts for them, but I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna buy those lipsticks. Uh, from KVD Beauty, we have the new Tattoo Pencil Eyeliner. This is gonna be $22 in 10 shades, available April 11th. All right, um, you know, eyeliners aren't something that I usually run out to purchase. I have my staple eyeliners that I really love. I have the Milk Makeup on today. I use Charlotte Tilbury quite a bit as well. But you know, it's an option if you are looking for a new eyeliner. I just don't feel like I personally have to have it. I see some new skincare that is coming from Herbivore. So this is their new Moon Fruit. It's their Retinol Alternative Serum. It's going to be $60. I don't use a lot of retinol these days. I have to say I'll never use retinol again. Like I'm sure I'll pop it back into my routine at some point, but just right now, not really using it. So I would skip on that one. And then we have some new brand news because that pretty much happens every week as well. So there's an update for the skincare brand Road, and this is by Hailey Bieber. So right now um, we just have like a few promo photos that are out. It's like there's a few products like a serum, mask, moisturizer. The price range is going to be $30 and under. I find that to be very intriguing. It's gonna be coming soon to June on the website. So I'll definitely be curious about this. You know, we'll just have to see, is it one of like those celebrity brands or is it one of those celebrity brands? Only time will tell. All right, that is going to be everything for this week. Again, my own brand by Samantha March is gonna be having a new launch tomorrow. I will be announcing that on places like my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word, TikTok, which is by Samantha March, and then also, of course, here on YouTube, and you will be seeing me get this makeup look right here. If you are looking for a train wreck of a video, make sure to check back for tomorrow's video. Uh, but that will be launching on my website by samanthamarch.com. So you can always sign up on the website for the newsletter because that will be going out with the product launch as well. If you want to stay tuned for product launches, discounts, uh, just different things like that, you can always sign up for the newsletter on the website. But other than that, that's going to be it for this week's Will I Buy It video. I've done quite a bit of shopping lately, so I have some trying new makeups coming up, a lot of reviews coming your way, ranking videos, all of the good things, so stay tuned for those. And as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.